water then and take me away from the liquor. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's already recorded. All right, so we'll call it. Um, so minutes, crew minutes. I didn't see any minutes in the email, Mark. Did you send them out? I did did not. Something? That's no. my fault because I thought I sent them and I didn't until I just saw Mark's email asking me to send them. Sorry, okay. I will send them for next month. Okay. This is petitions or comments. I guess we'll go around the table. Let me first you know that. I haven't had any. Okay. I didn't have any. What time did we call to order for the notes? 702? Yeah, yes. Sorry, I'm still typing in the roll call. It's just the four of us, right? Yes. Nobody else on Zoom that I can't see? Uh, no, no, there's just two participants. Okay. Did receive two emails from the town manager uh, from is it golfer at Chenacosset that went both to the town council meeting Tuesday night and went to the RTM last night. Oh, I saw that. Oh, okay. Oh, about you, the race? She was concerned about the cart yeah, race? Yeah, so we had agreed that we were going to drop the senior cart fee of fifteen dollars uh, and just had one cart twenty dollars and so she uh, I guess probably should have brought it yesterday in May uh, she thinks that's fair that the price increase you know, fifteen dollars particularly for seniors Earlier in the building, not having available discounted fee by the carts. She doesn't. We did reach out to the GAB uh, last yesterday to Margaret, and she told the other GAB members, and they, Marie, who was the women's president of the women's club, said. She was fine if the decision was made to go back to eighteen dollars versus fifteen, so right in the middle. She was okay with that. You know, when talking with Margaret, you know, she did point out that probably the, since two thousand and eleven, the price hadn't been raised until two years ago, and went from. 11 to, or no, I'm sorry, 13 to 15. And then two years later, I went from 15 to 20. But historically, over the last 10, 10 or 11 years, it hadn't gone up all that much. Um, we also have a new lease on golf carts, and that's about $8,000 more a year. So, you know, Margaret was, um, she was pointing out things that you know, felt justified <laughs> the change. She also pointed out that Norwich doesn't have, most golf courses have one rate. Norwich is $25 a cut. It doesn't matter whether you're a senior or 12 years old. So anyway, there seems to be sure that when I go to the council, um, you know, they are going to want to see us change the rate. Now, they may set the rate themselves, or they may just say, what do you think is this rate? Just sharing that with you all that it's likely to be See a change. So the gap would be all right for 15. Yes. Oh, kind of numbers right at number. 
like I look at their report rate, just no one. You know, do you have an average like you don't think it's eight thousand dollars where you got right? You're, you're paying more now, right? Yeah. So um be good, like you have in the February report rate for um right, you know, I'd be interested to see if you have a really average how many car rentals yeah, it would be you know, say you could yeah. then cancel you could justify maybe the rate is um lower a dollar. You know, then you can see right. how the eight thousand plays into the price increase. Is are you really getting four times more of the cost and you don't need that? It should go up. Oh, that, right. I think it's a good proportion would be to take the really car rentals, say if I raise it by that, that's an increased revenue. That gets you forty thousand dollars increased revenue, probably is not the right that high. Right. So right. there's that that yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's a good. That's a, you know right. You yeah. want you don't want to make more profit. You want to be able to cover the costs. Exactly. So I think that. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. Yeah. It makes sense to me. I'm done. That's the answer, Justin. That's... I'm sorry, I missed the conclusion of that. So, what should I note in the notes for what steps are going to happen for that moving forward? We are going to. Mike suggested that we look at the total number of car rentals for the year and divide that into the difference in what we're paying for the lease of the new carts. And you know, if we rent carts 8,000 times and the difference is $8,000, then we go up a dollar on the rental of the carts. Yeah, I mean, if they take gas, maybe out right. there, like, yeah. okay. but some, right. you, know, you apply a factor to that. Right. And then the only other correspondence I've had is we've started widening the path at Aquatic Plains Park. And I've had some a couple of people reach out to say how much they appreciate it. Okay. It looked like you ripped the old path up. Right in there, I saw a picture. Uh, no, we took the existing path and are widening it like six inches on either side. That's a picture. We're leaving the old one. Yeah, we're leaving the old one and we're just widening it. Widening it. And it's wide enough now that we can drive a uh, pull a York rig behind it, which will help because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it gets rough from where the water's running across. The so it'll be easier for us to. I'll count your referrals. And if we're friend, what a report is our market. So Dom had sent me a, a list of items that you would like to discuss. Um, so I think I'll just roll this to kind of as an addendum to the printed report. Uh, this first question was the, where were we with the Mazdoff Memorial across from Escort Beach, where that uh, wife and a good friend um, who had passed away, he, they came. So the sign actually was completed today. Um, now they've, have asked that we don't put the sign up until they uh, figure out and raise the money for, they want to put a, a stone down by the waterfront and put a plaque on it, but they would like to kind of have those two things occur in sync. So we're just going to hold on to the sign. So we're ready. We're finding out that bronze signs are expensive. Yeah, which they are. So anyway, that's um, that's kind of an update on that. He had asked about the lights at Plains Park. Uh, 
Uh, I just got the site plan from Kent Frost last night and had copies printed today and will be submitting that application to the planning department within the next week or so. And if we, hopefully it gets approved, we already have the funding. Um, we would order them and talk to the director of public works and he said they would install, uh, but it would be next fall. Because once they get paid, that's kind of all they have time to do. Later on in the year, they the paving projects came out. So this would be the project. Just for Store ones, probably like daily power. What's like, I'm thinking of store one, buy for housing and grounds. Oh. And there's like ones that are local. Oh, no, so, at least we'll not have power. And like, only good, like, I know the one you buy residential. Um, yeah, yeah, the yeah. No, no, these, like, these are commercial, like, like the, the last house, they're not. Like, yeah, they're $100. You know, <laughs> uh, that was my question. Like, <laughs> what are you going to have? That's a replace it in a year. So they're going to be a ground? No, they are. Elevator. Yeah, they are like 12 to 15. Uh, the light that faces directly down. Yeah, it's really going to be one of those. And there's availability at the park, which is, you know, people are walking around the trail all the time. That would be nice to have yeah. with the widened trail as well. It is, yeah. 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 Um, he, John also asked about the substance property. That was a mayor's ref referral, and he will need to bring that back. So that was the smoking. That's the policy. We had a lot of questions and a lot of opinions, and did not. Vote on it that evening. So mayor to bring that back. And this is just for the signage, right? Uh, no, this is the no. With yeah. signage for the smoking and the yeah, the no smoking in any of the parks, right? And the no, that was not going to include the golf course. And that was probably some of the things that would probably be a lot of people they did because I don't know. So anyway, uh, I'm waiting for the mayor to bring that back. So do we have to do something? Well, uh, I mean, if the council they say much of it, we consider discuss why you why the proposal was. Uh, Uh, he asked about um, the health and wellness hub and that we, we got a grant from the NRPA. So we have been meeting with uh, Ernie Koshmeter, the director of food services. Ben Marge Von Dulles, who's the director of human service, and legislate health district yeah, to try to come up with a solution to providing cold meals to get after school profit program. And I think we have something worked out. But we're going to have to go through the permitting process and 
Thankfully, we could use some of the $90,000 that we got for the rent for infrastructure. So we might be able to pay for the renovations that take place and for us to do that at the community center yeah. with that 90000 And I know Legislative Health District is also hiring somebody to be kind of on site uh, so that different agencies come to the community center and share their services with those folks that assistance and don't have access to all these to them related to health and health. So we're kind of going at this. Yeah, uh, replacing Jerry's position was another question that came up. Um, we are still, I can't really provide a lot of detail. We're still in negotiations and but I'm hopeful that by the next meeting uh, I'll be able to share all the news. Um, he asked uh, also asked about the uh, surveys that we're doing the recreation master plan and I just got an update today we have 356 people that have responded to the patient only survey and we've had 121 people fill out the open and the surveys close this Sunday at five and then Barry Dunn was uh, looking at all the data no I was really hoping my expectation was built on the results the survey that was associated with Mystic World School. So we had about 400 people respond to, to the invitation on the survey. And we had 300 and, or 401 respond to the open invitation. So the numbers, numbers are a little bit less. But you know what I'm really focused on is the invitation. Because that's the same. Yeah. They're almost rounds. Yeah, we're, you know, the open invitation is, is $100, lower, but the invitation only is in, in, and, and that gets us to kind of 5%, plus or minus one. And even at 356, right in that range, six. Still, I think I, I wonder what the impact of the messages going to spam has had. Did that happen to me again? Okay. Yeah. So I, I did talk to Jessica, and she said that she thought it was a thing on your computer. I, I don't know. In fact, she said she would talk to you about it. Okay. But I did get a message from somebody else that said the same thing. And I don't know how to. Yeah, because when we talked the first time, we thought it might have been a way that it was sent. But right. um, no, but I managed my spam. Okay. Something I did. Well, I didn't know if there was something in these settings that says. As I get the newsletters, I can. Uh, okay. I'll, yeah. I'll take a look. But there's, see. you know, the. Email that you're getting is probably part of like a thousand emails. That That's what I'm just thinking. Of. You know, the Thrive, you know, the Discover 55 is maybe a thousand of those. That you get. So it's the parts. Oh, okay. you get that. Oh, okay. Huh. I'll take a look though. Yeah. Um, and it could be survey fatigue. I mean, I can. Oh, yeah. You know, I go to Home Depot, and I buy, and I was telling Elizabeth, you know, I go to Home Depot and I buy a three quarter inch bolt, and I want to know about the experience of buying the bolt. I mean, for heaven's sakes, you know. So people are just inundated with surveys. And also, the fact that we just, you know, just a uh, so that's. 
Watch this video in order to get into it. <laughs> um, all right. I had some stuff. Okay. It was something about um, engage sessions. Are those published or how do, the, how do people, what, when are they? How do people? They had two this week, Tuesday night for the skate park. Um, we did one on site. The afternoon, and then we did one in the evening over in the teams. We had probably 25 to 30 skaters on the outdoor way. And we did a walkthrough. And when they talked, they identified like three areas that they think really need work. Most of those are the three areas are the ones that are still paved and not concrete. So it's a lot rougher. So so uh, Chad Frost from Frost was there, you know, taking notes, listening to work from everybody. And then we had one at 6 30 for folks that would be there at the 4 15. Uh, it was a smaller group, maybe 15 people that showed up, and most of them were the ones that were 15 meeting. Okay. And Chad had um, eight full size aerial shots of the skate park and he had pens or pencils and you know people were all sitting around kind of a big table discussing different ideas and so they, he, he let them take those sheets home and we have a follow-up meeting two weeks back and kind of prioritize and look at the different suggestions prioritize those so that when we go out to bid and you know, depending on what comes back with bids, you know, what we can and can. So that's that's the skate part. We have another public engagement session on the 15th, yes, at the community center at 6. It's going to be in the art room. And we have those lawn signs. We have those put up in the bridge area. Yeah, I think we have to have time. That, that's oh, yeah, the, yeah. That, that was the skate park. It's more than just the skate park. Yeah, that's, 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 that's an advertisement on air. But yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brooke, so I, I Googled it. I did not see any parks at that. There's a wolf. There's a the talk in here about. Yeah, so the Wolf Brook property. Yeah. was recently purchased okay. and um, there are different groups in town that would like they're eager to see us get started on building trails in there uh, we have signs and whatnot where is this mark this is the yes. wolfbrook property is it spelled like wolfbrook yeah it's w-o-l-f-e B R O O K. Like when I, it might it might show up as the what property. It was a it was a it's kind of near um, Pequot Woods. It's like a hundred plus acres. I think it's go to the town's GIS. Uh, should show up. I think Noah has already gotten GIS. Yeah. Scroll down and go to GIS viewing. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. So it's, 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 it's,
So it's brand. So it, it looks like it ran the ground like so. Yeah, it's, it's kind of next to people. This is. So, yeah. Oh, that's 95. Yeah. See, this is Sandy Hollow Road. Okay. That's so this property. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to Google it and I just couldn't. Is it near Pequot Trail? Near Pe it's 160. Yeah, it's near Pequot Woods. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the town, we got money from the state. Uh, brought in an open space, did some fundraising, and I think the town put in some money to purchase this property. And I'm not sure eventually what it's going to become. Um, my suggestion has been to include in the bike and pedestrian master plan section on what we think we ought to do with the Wolfbrook property. And then, you know, once we've heard from the community, then figure out next steps moving forward. I was interested um, in the um, aging. Oh, the aging master, or not aging. I was the, to... um, age friendly, age friendly, age friendly. Yeah, yeah. That um, some of the responses to that was similar to my observation: is we have got beautiful trails here, but not too many of them are accessible to people who require assistive devices. Right. Of any age, right? Yep. You know, that's uh, so I'm glad somebody captured that because yeah. we've got wonderful trails, but not everyone, right? And they wouldn't expect to be able, to, uh, right? To have a few. I mean, right. a uh, bridge, walk oh, by the river, right. but, yeah. yeah. And, and we, I, I just submitted a recreation trails grant. Oh, I did. It, it is, yeah. So I just uh, submitted uh, a recreation trails grant work out at the cop property. Continue the work that we actually started, I can't believe it was 10 years ago, um, to put down stone dust. Uh, we'll go in and, and excavate and put in stone dust. Uh, a good portion of one of those, of, of a loop trail is had enough that for the most part people could get around. So that's that wonderful. that's it. and that's also the area where we're looking at trail trail. Yeah. And you're using that the plan is to use that same kind of surfacing for the trail around the library. Yes. Correct? Yep. Yep. So the, uh, Hang on. This, this is right the tree trail. Tree kind of things. Yes, it's, it's very close. Yeah, yeah, I grabbed myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, like one. There's like a transportation graph in here talking about daily transportation. Like, is this is this like the number of people that the transportation? Like to and from the senior center or something, or it seems like it's good usage. I'm just curious what is it represented. Yeah, I think this is all inclusive transportation. Um, this is you know, we give rides to banks, grocery stores, to and from the senior center. Right. Medical appointments. Medical appointments. Right. Seems like it's a use. I was like, I'm surprised. Yes. Usually, yes. I see buses. I see. I was yeah, like, I was happy. Yeah, numbers. It is. What? Yeah. Um. They do a uh, dining out program in the evening. Yes, and we also use those buses for day trips. Uh, go to a play, island, or. Oh, it seems like a. Yeah. And most 
the buses that we have are 80% coming. So, so there's a that probably is approaching three quarters of the. In fact, we have another thing probably is to replace. So two things thinking less inquiries that you can think and um have on this uh projects coming I think it was maybe that maybe it maybe it's a combination of this like my question came to is so before I joined the community, you know, I had done a thing for Water of the Dog Park and I didn't see yes. any items coming I'm trying to figure out what the is that. So we Dug the pit, put in a six inch, either a six or an eight inch pipe. Okay. Um, and I did that with one of the engineers Tuesday morning. Um, he gave me a set of plans that I have to submit to the planning department uh, for a fence uh, to go around it. And we've got to install a couple of gates need to get from dog park into the big dog park close to where this is going to be an eight foot fence and we're going to have a hand pump because there's no electricity it makes sense there. yeah, yeah. Um, so once i get plans approved and he just goes to me yesterday once i get those approved then i can go out to bid uh, for the fence so my expectation is later on this spring there will be water there for the yes. any word back on the park that the one any word back no, on I the heard the heard thing. Thing. I heard a thing. Yeah. 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 There's a small piece of development that needs to be finished and the plans call for park in there. Mm -hmm. What was this for? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear Michael's question. So are we talking the dog park first or are we talking the next thing? I heard about the dog park, the next thing. There's the new community they're building by us, like Heather Glenn. They're supposed to put a playground in. We had to give them a recommendation on what you go in there. I was wondering if you heard that. Mm. Okay, thank you. Accepting, accepting that. Yeah, I have not. Okay. Michael had made some suggestions that were forwarded to them or oh, I think so. oh, <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah I, I forwarded everything uh that I could I just wonder if you had any feedback. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I, gave it, I gave it to the I gave it to the planning department at Jones for him and I don't I remember know. hearing Isaac Yeah no we haven't heard him. they did a bunch of sidewalks up in the last like month. Oh they've done some more work. Yeah, probably about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's right. a project. Yeah, I got the run now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to discuss that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, I didn't have any questions about the project, but others can. Uh, no, I'm fine. Okay, we'll go to the golf course, Mark, I think. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, so February was a was a good month. Uh, this is a, a good winter, if you can even call the last three months for winter. Um, you know, our, our revenue exceeded what it had done in the previous year, fiscal year. We are uh, at almost fifty thousand dollars ahead of where we were last year. Last year was our best year. Last year beat the year before that, which was our best year. So we are continuing to remain on track with a high level of budget. Yep. And we should be starting the cap work. I haven't gotten an update from Eric recently, but the original plan was late winter, early spring. And it's just work around that four five poles, four five and six. Uh, 
and public works department went out to bid for the asbestos completion underneath the bathroom in R4. And once that has been mitigated, then they can start work on remodeling the, the bathroom and eliminating the separate layers outside prior to R4 being open. So right now, the accessible bathroom is only available once R4 opens at around 11 o'clock. Outside the park. There's like a there's like the pro shop R4 and there's a door to the PD in Hingham. Yeah, there's can... a there's a set of stairs. So it's not you have to walk up three steps in order to get to the yeah, so that's not accessible. Oh got got okay. Yeah. Handicap. Handicap. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was I thought it is something yeah, like yeah. that. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yep. But there's, they built a new ramp out, they call it the front of the building. I call it the back of the building. I mean, the front of the building faces the house. Oh, um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we built ramps, and they made eight ramps. But that, they can. It's a bit to the. I know, I know, it's the yeah, it like but it does. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah, that's locked. Yeah, that's locked until ten thirty or right. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Rails four meeting. Yeah, there's no report. We meet quarterly, and the next meeting is, is next week. Thank you. Last month, we went to, we had a public hearing and there was a system showed up. Um, we, we can frost went over the three different scenarios, went over three different scenarios, explaining why things were where they were. Um, oh my, that was there. yeah. Um, and there was, they also provided some kind of high level estimates of cost. They handed out a survey that they would build in, filled out. And then they also, there's also an online survey that folks can do. All of that information is being compiled and we went back to the council on May 8th to present the findings. And hopefully the council will provide some clear direction on what they will do. Yeah. 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 Task force is to get together so that we can go on the bid and actually have real firm numbers and have not just concept solid things. So what do we ask the council? What are you asking the council? What is you're gonna present something to them? Right. The, well, um, what we would like is for the council to say heard the community speak. This is clearly what they want. Is that money that's already been appropriated instead of and for, um, for both Rochester property, Sutton Park. For fields. Yeah. 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 So that I mean that's that's what we're asking. Or that's what we're asking. Because yes, I think you're asking to say, hey, people want to use the field, they want to go do this tool field study to come back items that we need. Yeah. And then what about I know with you know like the whole thing is that we asking for money to do another study for a single one, or what are we doing? I did include money to do a feasibility study. So, depending on the results, um, the level of interest in doing an aquatics facility, 
there's a chance that you may be able to find um, some ways else to do so say that they they say okay yeah we're going to prove i would think to that but they want to prove it. yeah so then you know if i sit there and go okay well, what are you doing did you hear back a lot of people want to pull not want to pull like you know i would ask the question of are you thinking of doing a piece of or not what would you do with that would you consider that out of the study or need that a vacant plan and i'm thinking yeah you know, they might ask i would that. hope that they would leave that as a vacant piece of land so that we can do the study and decide and then yeah. decide field or right and the, the space that it's going to take up is not enough for a full size others so it's not like we're losing the field. all That's three all yeah. three proposals but two multi-purpose yeah. so and then one had a had a full size aquatics facility Another had maybe a, a half practice field. Yeah. Um, and so we're not, by not using that space, it's not like losing the full the availability of a full space. Yeah. So you're really asking me to go do the item that would be blank. Right. Makes right. sense. But I think yeah. that's what I want to understand. Yeah. So that, that's the 28th of this. Oh, that's uh, other than the stats in our own fields. Uh, what we just this one across the LPA song. The question becomes whether you'll be able to affect the community center. Yeah, that fence is next. Originally, we were it was scheduled to down at the end of March, and just, we opened it up. People were using, using it, it, and it, it still needs it needs to be overseen again. It really needs a, a full, full season out of kind of keep that. We've scheduled it through the middle of August. And our intention last year was to open it up this coming kind of fall. What an agency. Um, we are shipping away at that. Elizabeth continues to faithfully come in two to three times a week. And, you know, Mark. Gotta get this done, they gotta get that done. Yeah. <laughs> no, I gotta drive. I gotta drive. Surprise. I gotta drive. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. And we've actually been setting up kind of calendars with staff that are immediately involved in agency accreditation. It's like, okay, these are the things we have to do in a calendar over the next six months. What you're going to do in April, what you're going to do in May, and stay on top of that. And, and our goal was to have this complete by September. Do everything to make sure that we can. Because what we're running into now, it's, it's taken longer than we thought. Some of the evidence of compliance that we put in two or three years ago really needs to be up. So that's, it's not only correcting those things that were identified that needed improvement, but it's also kind of updating the evidence of compliance and I'm showing them an MOU from 2019. Did you say, I'm sorry, I think you mentioned when you were hoping to have the um new stuff all submitted did you say september for that well we're hoping to have everything updated by september october it wouldn't be submitted to the visiting team until uh i think march and they're scheduled to come next june uh, 
Um, but we, we wanted to give ourselves a couple of months um, to have kind of like a fresh set of eyes go through everything. And there are thousands, there will be thousands of documents, right? Hundreds? Hundreds, hundreds certainly. At least hundreds, maybe in the thousands uh, of documents to go through, just to make sure that, you know, sometimes, sometimes when you see something too often, you just, you start missing things. So it was Elizabeth's suggestion, drawing from her previous experience of doing accreditation reviews. So that they finished it, and then they had somebody else look at it, and, and that's what we're going to try to do. That's our goal. Okay. <laughs> Spend the afternoon together. Yes. We've had it up to here with you. <laughs> Unfinished business, anything? I don't find it must be. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm just going to bring this up now, but um, as we went through the setting the race for the golf course, I know we talked about. Um, Harvard, one of the things that we missed is we have a category for active or retired military in the limited category. We don't have a active or retired military pricing for full membership. And I, I did I'm sure that that's going, that question is going to come up. So I would rather be proactive versus reactive. Um, and we looked at, we meeting with the golf pro, the superintendent, myself, looked at what we had done for the limited. And so the adult economy is 1,215. The active or retired military is. 1,100, so it's about a 10% difference. And so what we thought was for the full membership adult, the full membership family, we would match the discount that we had provided under the limited. Yeah. So I, I did, we did pose this to the gap, um, to Margaret, who's the chair, and she told everybody and they were fine with it. So my plan is when I go to the council, even though we don't specifically identify a adult active or retired military, make it clear that they are adult active or retired military, they can the same thing for uh, a family member. I just wanted to share that with the mission and actually may help the sort of the motion. I was just thinking that, yeah. I think, just for the record. So I'll, I'll make a motion that we amend the Anacostic rates to include a 10% discount for active or retired military, full membership, and economy. Uh, family. And family. Right. Um, yeah. And amend it that way. Yes, I So I have, a, I have a quick question, actually. Um, so Elizabeth is making a motion to amend the pricing to apply the discount that was used on the limited for membership um, yes. for everything, right? Yes. Do we discussed the call, the golf rate fees? Is that something that we need to make a move on and vote on too, or is that out of our hands now? Based on the feedback that the person, the petition um, that was made at the RTM. Oh. Um... Well, we, we could do that. We could include that also. Um, you know, I was going to try to make the case that the reason 
well, there was a few reasons that we dropped the, the senior heart rate, but if the commission wants to recommend going to 15 to 18 and not to 20 or, or whatever, uh, the GAB did discuss it and they were okay with the idea of going to 18 and perhaps next year going to 20 and just getting rid of the senior heart discount. So that's... I think going forward, we'll probably be in a stronger position if the GAP could take on Mike's suggestion for right. analyzing your yeah. data. Yeah, I would abstain. Yeah, I, uh, because it's I mean, I can I, I can go back and look at the uh, report last June, the end of the year, and see how many carbon per, and then we want to know an average on the side, and then we have a talk. Yeah. yeah, well, I don't know how you want to. The problem is the gap meets like every other month, okay. and we'd really like. Normally, I would have gone to the council probably next Tuesday and presented, but because this this issue came up, and also the fact that not address the military, uh, the active and retired military full membership category, uh, we'll put it off. So it could end up being a couple of months. We go to the GAP, then we come back to the commission, I go to the council. Now we're in May, and you want to we've had a number of registration, you know, a number of memberships, and under the old rates, I would really can't. I would prefer try to go next month to the council and say that. And the the card issue is really a separate one from the memberships, anyway. It is. Um, to go back to the court issue for a moment is um, I think this is going to raise its head periodically. Um, we don't have a solid right. rationale. Yep. Yep. So I can certainly look at, at the number of car rentals that we did and make that suggestion. Uh, I'm sure that they're going to be okay with it, and I can share it with the commission. You all again. I, and, and, the numbers. I mean, if you wanted, like, right, so if you have to do something official next week, like, Shikami, I'm okay with it. You want to get that to email out as I get there. We'll talk yeah. and kind of officially the meeting. So you get, the, you get the preemptive, like, everyone in the line, if we need to vote next meeting, like, yeah, we agree. Officially, we can do that, but we have the course time. Well, if we don't want to hold up the voting on the military rates and we feel comfortable with that, we I don't think we need to do it together. I was just thinking if we were ready to do both, we could do both. But I yeah, think it's fine. Do I don't think we should hold up the military discount. We could take one and then come back with parts at the next meeting because that's a pretty small group and you know, the, the impact on the golf course of Well, if I go to the council next month, they may just set them, and then it's done. Yeah, you know, right? they already. may just say, "Yeah, you can't raise it. It's going to be this." And, and, and was the was the, was the car rental twenty bucks for? Uh, no, I think that's. I think all, all we did was get rid of the senior. So they're only chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I would do what you've suggested, Fred. I think that's just wise way to do. Okay, so I have Elizabeth. Make sure I quoted that I wrote this properly. I said there's a motion to apply the military discount rate used with the limited plan to the full plans for active retired military, and that was made by Elizabeth. Did I word that properly? The family and the family and yes. family, not just the full membership, but the family membership, active and retired military get the ten percent to the full or family. Yes, right. adults or the family. Oh, yeah. Now the two for the adults or for the full adults and full family. Yes. Yeah. Now 
there is also an associate and an associate plus, but we did not feel that applying the 10% discount to them because those were already discount. Right. Okay, so the motion to apply military discount rates used in the limited plan, so the full adult plan and the full family plan for active and retired military. Elizabeth made the motion, Michael seconded it. That's where we are? Yes. All right, yeah. cool. Now we need to vote. Right. Those in favor? <laughs> All right. Opposed? Abstained. Abstained. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have a ticket page at the reach. Have my uh, Okay, right. And I can explain to you. Well, we'll give the data. I'll sense. give them the information and then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Fitness. The business market has one item at least on the agenda. Yeah, the progress report. So as part of agency accreditation, we are required to show that this report, and this is actually a new that we're going to start doing every year. It's kind of a brief history of what we've done to date and what we are going to be doing this year and next year in this year to update this. These are all items that uh, address or help remove the barriers in a different, different facility and things that we've done even back a couple of years. So there wasn't any activity in 24 months? Well, uh, actually there was. We go to each three. Um, we hired architectural consultants our uh, plans to make the bathrooms a concession here. Yep, right here. So that's what we did oh, okay. uh, in this. So this is what this FY23. That's why I so the, you call it you claimed in 23, but you did the yes, we did the consulting in 22 and the project in 23. Maybe just put a note in there for it. I think you yeah. put a note here saying we did it. So, yeah, for both. Uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Right. Yeah. And then we hired somebody to do, to come up with a set of plans for the five car park. So it was in 2122. I mean, 21 was kind of a lost year. Yeah, we actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I have a general like the final project rate. Did we start these? So something kicked us off. I would I just assume, right? You know, right. Like someone just wake up. Right. Or maybe someone did. Um. Wait. I what? think in 2010, the they came up with. Much, I don't know what who it was, but 2010, they came up with guidelines to make recreation facility. Not a brand new country. Country. No, okay. <laughs> okay. And, uh, so that happened, I think, in 2000, 2013, we hired a company, consultants, and and look at all of our recreations, assess, make an assessment of how accessible they are and what we needed to do in order to make those accessible. So at that point, we started implementing some changes. And that, you know, we have a long way to go. Um, but you can see, yeah, right around 2014, Started doing doing different projects. So we had a study done in 2013 in response to the 
new guidelines that came out in 2000 and 2008 started. Those changes. And do these, so we're, we're doing them right here. Okay. Is it, if we, if we continue to do them because, like, I think the town people want them and help us with accreditation. Like, you know, like, we're going to continue to spend money and we'll try to understand. Maybe it's well, a good thing. Just like, why would we? It's, what's the rat number to take? It's actually out. something we have to do. Okay. Because if we don't do it, we can get sued for not having accepted. So, so it's, it's a requirement. It's a requirement. That's what I'm yeah, trying to get. That's yeah, what I'm trying yeah. to get. Yeah, that is. So some of them could be very expensive. That's why I'm just trying to understand yeah. what's the, you know, is the juice worth the squeeze, right? You know, 1% would spend that 100K on the. Another ninety percent got a lot yep. more usage out of that. Right, right. So it sounds like it's not an option. It, it's not a. That, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> no, it was actually um, that study that was done showed that Groton was at the time not compliant, but ahead of its peers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there how, are. Yeah. I am sure there are a number of communities that haven't even developed a transition. They're just crossing their fingers. Yeah. Well, that somebody doesn't come in and file a complaint. Yeah. No, I'm just wondering, right? Yeah, no, you no, it's a great point. You know, like, you, you, yeah. cater, the, you gotta cater to the needs of the many, and sometimes, you know, someone oh, always gets I agree. the yeah. short end of the stick. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I understand. But that's Thanks. why we get to it. Um, just a small thing. This yes. page goes from three to five. Well, I have to throw something in there and just be so honest. Make sure we're really looking at these things. <laughs> yeah, that there is that I think it's, it's very attractive. Just, it's, it's, I thought it was a good laid out. Mm Yeah, the front and back are covers you really yeah. have for me. So, if I could get a motion to approve those as to approve this as amendment, we do this. When we do that, we just like I think we. Or something. Well, what we'll do is we'll put it up on our web page. We have a, um, a section on the department web page that's called guiding documents. So our old recreation master plan is on there. Our strategic plan is on there. Our annual report is yeah. on there. We will add this to that web page. Okay. We're making motion just to. Yes. Not for Well, I move that we approve the ADA transition report as amended on pages three and four. I can second it. Those in favor? Aye. <laughs> All those opposed? <laughs> Count hands. One, two. <laughs> All Smart right. Alec. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did not have anything else. We had the next meeting date be in person or virtual. That's virtual. The next day, on June. I think that's it. Oh, so.
So I think we're good unless there's anyone else that want to add anything and bring me. Um, I think the secretary is done. <laughs> <She's> done. <laughs> there she is. There she is. Let I move that we adjourn this meeting. I know spring break is somewhere around there for the kids' school, as so I was just trying to figure out where it fell. Oh, okay. Point. Well, you can somewhere or... spring break, but if it's a virtual meeting, it shouldn't be bad. Yeah, Zoom's not that we are planning anything. Just you know, <laughs> <laughs> we could, you know, you can Zoom from your backyard. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, that's it. You're good, right? Yeah, you have a motion. Vote on adjournment too. I made the motion. I'm doing my part. I'll second it. All right. All in favor? Hands. <laughs> Off the record, anything about the. I just wondered who heard it before about the potential member. For the commission um actually somebody else really? last week and i heard from the town clerk that submitted his paper okay. so there was a there was a resident that had reached out months ago mm -hmm. and i sent her the link and i assuming that she didn't submit the paperwork this gentleman showed up and has been a resident for mm -hmm. serving. So, and I did explain to him that um, don't make make volunteers jump. I said probably be two months or three before you're on the there's certain democratic seats and Republican seats, and depending on what you are, the Republican the Democrats can hold the application for 60 days. I think it's 60. And they have to make a decision, and those two no subcommittee of the council, or the minute goes. <laughs> All right. Well, they are open meetings, so this person would like to join no, us. That's, no, I could have suggested that. You'd be welcome. Yeah. Well, it's helpful. So, I think that's why I didn't want to do it. Or did See if I show up at that Okay, I'm gonna shut this. All right, friend. Take care. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah.